do this, we are going to need to remove these panels. We don't need to necessarily completely remove them. This one we will, but for the rest, we can just leave them hanging off. So to take this panel off, you're gonna take a pry tool and put it on the top. It's just being held in by clips. You're just gonna wanna push it away from the car and then it'll come off like that. That is your interior door piece. Okay, so for this one, what we're gonna to want to do is similar concept, but we're not completely removing it. We're just taking the top part off. So to make this a little bit easier on yourself, if your screen is able to swivel, go into controls, you'll go into display, and then you're gonna to want to tilt it either to the center or to the right. That way you have a lot of room in this crevice right here. What might help is moving the steering wheel. So let's move it down all the way. Okay, actually that helps a lot. That way we can really shove the pry tool in from the top. Boom, all right, now that's released. We can go ahead onto the passenger side. Okay, so from here, this panel needs to come out as well. So just popping it out. Then we'll move the screen back to the center. So come onto the passenger side, remove this piece as well. It's just the same one that you did earlier. Once this is all removed, there's going to be a single bolt. There's two right here. You're gonna to want to remove the farthest one on both sides. So the one closest to the front side away from the car. So we've removed it from the passenger side. Unscrewing it towards the front, we also now have it removed from the driver's side. And once you have these bolts removed, all you need to do is come up from underneath here and start kind of rocking it up from where it sits. So it's just being held in by clips, both the plastic chrome trim, as well as the carbon fiber or whatever dash you have. You're just gonna rock it up away from the car. All right, so this part is loose. You can go do the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, so all these clips have been removed, except you need to get it out from behind the screen. There we go. Awesome. So when you remove this, when you pop out the trim, you're basically removing it from the clips in the front. And then when you're kind of wiggling it up, you're going to be removing all of the clips that are along here. And it's easiest to kind of rotate the screen. That way you can have a little bit of mobility when you're pulling this up from each side. It's easiest to pull it when you're pulling it out, pull it towards the car at an angle. So kind of pulling it up towards the roof, but also at yourself, kind of at an angle. It's the best way to do it. Uh, you don't wanna pull it up like this. You might want to, to get the first initial set of front clips removed, but afterwards, if you keep doing it, you're gonna break the longer clips in the back. So you're gonna wanna pull it up and out, and then when you remove it, towards you and out. That's pretty much it. We have the dash fully removed, and we can start assembling the light strip along here and then plugging it into our controller module. So now we're going to replace the silver trim on both sides. It should look something like this. 